Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, got a surprise racket? Not so surprised guess. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so my buddy Andy here, always playing with new toys. He ordered a racket and was playing with it and had me string it up and I'm like, what the hell is that? And he's like, it's a prince. And like, It's like rainbow bright here. It's the new prince rip stick. I remember when they had the original rip stick, it was a mono shaft. Mono shaft, one shaft, remember that? And a big, big head, big mama head on that one. So flexible yet big head. I don't know if you remember that. That was like 25, 30 years ago. So, but that was the original ripstick that I know. So now they basically uh, resurrected the name in this rainbow racket. Okay. It looks kind of cool. I don't mind the yellow or the orange. Uh, so I got my man coach Rob with me today and we're going to test it out. Stay tuned. So we just got off the court with a rainbow bright ripstick here. Uh, Coach Rob, what'd you think of that? The uh, the ripstick 300G had a lot of power. Um, I personally, it had a little too much power for me. I needed something um, uh, that I could add a little power to when I generate my own swing. Cause this one I'd swing and it was flying. So I had to really make sure I got a little more top spin to keep the ball in the court. Um, but yeah, no, it's, you know, if you're looking for a racket with some giddy up in it, give it a shot. All right. So just to give you guys a little bit of background, um, Andy, my buddy Andy, just got this racket about a week ago, and he had me string it with this Vocal Cyclone 16 at 50 pounds. Um, he kind of immediately the next day said, man, that got too much power. So I was like, man, that's a freshly strung racket. I understand that Cyclone doesn't hold tension very well, but it shouldn't have that much power. But he's like, yeah, it's so much power, I can't control it. So Coach Rob it kind of is uh, uh, saying the same thing as what Andy said. Um, I kind of felt the same thing. If you didn't catch it just right, it will fly. It will just take off on you. Um, so if you kind of decide that you'd like a racket like this or this particular racket, um, I guess my advice to you is uh, string it a little tighter and hopefully you get a little more control out of it. But yeah, this racket, if you catch it right, man, that thing just takes off, it, it, it goes. Uh, but if you miss it, uh, if you're like a little hesitant about it and catch it just flushed, it just kind of keeps going though. So it was real easy power but real easy to launch uh, out to. Uh, but I mean, all in all, it wasn't horrible. Um, I mean, we we got the big holes back as you see, right? And I don't know what you want to call this. It doesn't say O3 or speed port, or maybe it should be called ripstick holes uh, technology here. But I mean, not horrible, not horrible. If you like this color, right? Definitely give it a shot. Um, I want to thank my man, Coach Rob, for hitting with me today uh, with this racket. Um, I'm going to go over the specs with you guys um, back at the shop uh, and and see what you know what the balance and the weight and all that other good stuff is with this thing. All right, so I'll see you back at the shop. All right, guys, so back at the shop with the Prince Ripstick here, um, the 300 gram version. Because you know 285 or 280 is going to be too light for me. Um, and my buddy Andy. So let's see what the vitals are on this. We'll start with 
the balance. Three thirty. Let's hit the scale and check weight and balance. At the scale. Three twenty three. All right, swing weight. Three twenty nine. Let's analyze the racket. All right, guys, so let's take a look at the numbers here. Three, two, three on the weight, strong, pretty average. Balance, 330, eh, a little on the head heavier side. Swing weight, just a tiny bit on the head heavier side. So it makes sense with a racket like this where we have very pure drive-like characteristics, um, maybe pure drive-like tour um, on these two. Um, Eh, no, maybe more like pure drive. 64 is where I'm amazed at because I felt more power than that uh, or stiffness. Uh, and this is where I'm feeling the stiffness from. That top part of that racket is 27 millimeters on the beam. And then it um, tapers down to 25.5. And then near the shaft, into the shaft is 22. So it's thin to medium to thick at the top. That reminds me of some of those power rackets back in the 80s and 90s uh, that Prince used to do, like those thunder sticks, um, for instance. Um, and then the string pattern is 16 by 18, so there's less strings, uh, wider, bigger squares in this, meant for spin, right? So we have power from here, spin from here, and then we have this ATS, which is an anti-torsion system. Uh, which makes the racket more firm um, and a little stiffer. Uh, so, and it's also in the hoop and in the shaft, we have Toron and Techstream, which helps it for more stability. So this racket basically tells me, or these specs basically tell me that it's kind of stiffer, built for spin, right? on the slightly heavier side so easier to play with is what this racket tells me it's also 100 square inches which i didn't point out yet but i'm going to show you what i'm talking about here you see how that top part is thick and then it thins out here and then tapers into the thinner part here so you get the power and the stiffness from the top you know, slightly more flex here and then a lot more flex here. Um, it's very like thunder stick um, approach, kind of a graduate uh, like racket in a hundred square inch head. Maybe more like a thunder stick, actually, the way this is so thick at the top. Um, but it felt actually really good. It was easy to play with. You had easy power. Um, I was, it was actually a little hard to control, um, but yeah, easy power. Andy, Andy said like within an hour, uh, the racket was uncontrollable. So we could either, you know, blame that on the string or, um, maybe the racket's just too powerful. Um, but I mean, I enjoyed playing with it, uh, surprisingly. Um, I like the colors of this racket. It does have those O ports on the sides and at the top. So for those of you who don't like stringing these O ports, you'll figure it out, okay? For you new, new generation people that's starting to string, uh, this won't be easy, but you'll figure it out. We all did. All right, so that is the new Prince Ripstick 100 square inch racket.
300 gram version. Um, if, if you want to dial up some old thunder stick feel, if you remember that, give this one a try. It's actually uh, not too bad. All right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.